Obliquity of the ecliptic. Eccentricity. As per Kepler's second law of planetary motion, a planet covers same area around the sun in a given time. The Earth moves at different speed at different parts of its elliptical orbit. This is due to the eccentricity of Earth's orbit. To an observer on Earth, the Sun seems to move at different speed over the sky. It moves slower when it is farther, and to make up the time, it moves faster when nearer in its orbit around the Sun. Obliquity. Consider the Sun projected on the celestial sphere. For an observer on the Earth, when the Sun moves along the ecliptic, it would move at varying speeds. This is so even if the Earth's orbit is perfectly circular. During summer and winter, the Sun is close to a vertex of the ecliptic and moves parallel to the equinoctial. This makes the projected velocity large and Sun appears to move faster here. In spring and autumn, when the Sun is close to the crossing points of ecliptic and equinoctial, its movement from day to day, therefore, is slanted to the equator. The projected velocity is thus reduced and the Sun appears to move slowly here. This is caused due to the obliquity of Earth's axis by 23.5 degrees to the vertical. Equation of Time the time difference between true and mean solar time is called the equation of time and recorded over the year. The orange curve shows time difference between true and mean solar time due to effect of the eccentricity of the Earth's orbit. The blue curve is the difference in true and mean solar time due to the obliquity of the ecliptic. The violet curve depicts the equation of time which is recorded over the year. Near February 12th and November 4th, difference between true and mean solar time is maximum of about 16 minutes. The equation of time is zero when true and mean solar time are identical, which is around April 16th, June 15th, September 1st, and December 25th.